here are all the glitch goals for NHL 22. I use lefty, but all these shots work with the righties just the opposite way. The first shot is the forehand, backhand, forehand shot. This has been in the game for many years now, but works much better in NHL 22. Go straight at the goalie or come in slightly to the left. Hold the puck on your forehand until you get to the hash marks and then go backhand, forehand. This move is all dependent on baiting the goalie on the backhand. If the goalie doesn't get baited, then he can save this shot. If he does, it is a guaranteed goal. You can also come in from an angle on this if on a breakaway in a game with back checkers. Same thing, you need to get the goalie moving on your backhand in order for it to go in every time. If not, he will save it. The next shot is the backhand, forehand, backhand. This one I wouldn't use on the penalty shot simply because the backhand is less accurate than your forehand. Come in more on an angle with this one, and same as the forehand shot, make the move at the hash marks. The goalie needs to get baited on your forehand fake. Otherwise, I think you know what happens. The next shot has been in the game for a few years now. It is the Dezuk flip. For this one, you need high deking in order for it to work. Get to about the hash marks on the left side, then start the move and make the flip when in front of the goalie. The only reason this move doesn't work sometimes is if your deking is too low and you lose the puck. Make sure you have above 90 deking for this move to work consistently. The next one is the glitch goal that was from NHL 20. If you don't know how to do this move, you come in from a deep angle with speed, pull the puck as much as you can on your forehand, and then tuck it around the goalie on the far side. To get the goalie to bite on this move, you have to basically come in almost completely horizontal in NHL 22. This move only goes in with righties. This move doesn't go in every time with lefties, I'm sad to say. I tried it multiple times in different ways, but for some reason the goalie can dive over and get either a pad or blocker on it sometimes. So don't use this move as a lefty if you need a goal. But righties can have a field day with this one. The next few moves are not really glitch goals, but are unique moves to try when just scooting around or when up in the game and just want to flex a little. The first move to try is the stride deke to forehand shot. You skate towards the middle of the right circle dot and hash marks and then stride deke to the middle and shoot it short side. This move goes in if the goalie gets baited and if you can hit net. This move to me looks pretty flashy and clean all around. The next move I believe is called the Kyle Torres off the skate deke to backhand shot. You need high deking to pull this off otherwise your player just loses it multiple times. To do this, you skate straight in or slightly to the left and do the deke as soon as you hit the hash marks and then immediately pull to your backhand. This move doesn't go in as much as the stride deke shot because everything needs to be timed perfectly. This move looks really flashy and showcases nice puck control though. Another shot is the between the leg shot. Again, you need high deking to pull it off. Skate in on a slight angle from the left till you get to about the middle of the goalie. Till he starts moving away from the left post. Pull it in between the legs and then snipe it top left. Honestly, this shot is very tough to get in, but if you can get in, it makes for a really nice highlight. The last glitch goal isn't something you do on the breakaway, rather just in the middle of a game. If you have the puck deep into the zone behind the net and the middle of the slot is open, just pull it either on your forehand or backhand around the goalie and snipe it far side. This move goes in every single time as long as you have the space to do it. Honestly, the only reason this would go in is if the other team's defense is completely trash, honestly. Click here for the top 5 best tips for 3v3 hockey.